Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're all cool. <laughs> so, another week, another week. Uh, okay, so check it out. This week we are continuing with the Nature and Us thematic unit, which is what we looked at with the sound machine, and we're continuing with with this um, with this unit here. So, um, all right, let's. Uh, so I've actually decided we're going to keep this, um, but we're going to X out this, so we don't have to read this or do. Um, you know, this diary entry or discussion questions. Um, as, as you'll see also, the current event four, um, that is going to be due next uh, next week. So make, make sure to be working on that. Um, okay, so that's the plan. And let's go to our module, which is, believe it or not, uh, module 12. <laughs> so here's what we have. So with... W my thinking of this with with uh, nature and us. So, as citizens of the 21st century, uh, pollution is something that constitutes a large part of our experience. But when we think of pollution, we immediately go to contamination in terms of uh, the quality of air, right? So the, the, the we consider air quality index. Uh, ratings and, and, and such, but, you know, that's not the only uh, form of pollution, as we're going to learn today, and uh, what we're going to be learning this week, guys, is, drum roll, please, bah, noise pollution. I don't know if you've ever heard of noise pollution. Um, if if you have, cool, then this will be a chance to, to learn a little bit more about it. If you haven't, sweet, then it'll be a chance to learn about something entirely new that I bet you didn't even really consider was pollution, but there you go. <laughs> okay, so first thing, uh, find an article about noise pollution and its effects on human beings. So if you like National Geographic, sweet. If you like BBC, sweet. Um, maybe, but I, I know for a fact National Geographic has one. Um, but let me see. So it's just go online, and let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna put noise pollution national. Oh, actually, look. If you just put it in noise pollution, um, oh, <laughs> the very first thing that comes up is National Geographic. So that's that works out awesome. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. All right. Um, it's a little short, but so here's one. Uh, let's see what else we can find. You know, you know how you can search it. Um, why, don't, why don't you put "What is noise pollution"? That would be far more helpful. <laughs> uh, what is noise pollution? Let's see what you find. Noise pollution, environmental pollution. Oh, look at this one, environmental pollution center. So here's another one. Here's a good one. <laughs> there you go. This this actually fits our our. Um, our task for this week quite perfectly. <laughs> yeah, guys, so whatever you find, uh, basically, like I said, if you can search what is noise pollution, you'll come up with some cool articles. So there you go. <laughs> um, okay. And, oh, and then remember, you know, don't close the article um, because we are going to be needing uh, the work cited for it. Remember, we always need to give credit where credit is due. So leave the article open so that you can create that work cited page. Uh, okay, so uh, that's the main task. You're going to find an article about noise pollution and its effects on human beings. So, um, and then once you've read it, uh, you know, jot down some notes so you can be ready for the for the write up. And uh, so, using the article as a source, describe what noise pollution is, in what areas is it most common, what are what are its effects on human beings, can we get rid of noise pollution, can you personally do anything to escape it? So this this particular uh, write-up will be focused on noise pollution and its effects on, on our species, human beings, okay? And uh, you're going to be writing at least a page and a half, double-spaced, you know, Times New Roman or Arial, um, space out the paragraphs, 
Uh, and then, like I said, you're going to have to include the Works Cited page to give credit where credit is due for the article itself. So you're going to cite the article. And remember, guys, in your write-up, uh, just like we've been learning this term, say, um, in the national or uh, you you could say uh, in the National Geographic article entitled blah blah blah, the writer uh, defines noise pollution as this that and the third. So my my point is make sure to make it clear where the source is from and what the article title is and who the who the author is if if you know that. Um, so remember, always introduce it before you, you begin to mention their, the author's last name. So always introduce it first, just like we've been doing all along. Uh, okay, so this is that's that, noise pollution on humans. Next one, guys, it's a neat one. So noise pollution and animals. Like I said, this this uh, particular week is is pretty unique in the sense that it's a different type of pollution that um, deviates from what we might what we might think from the top of our heads, which which is just only uh, air quality, uh, air pollution. But that's not the only type of pollution, as we're going to learn uh, throughout this week with noise pollution. So this one's on animals. So before you even watch this video, um, I would just open a Word document um, or a notepad, whatever it is that you can uh, type into. And um, it's like a look, it's like a little quick right here, but um, you're just going to answer the first question: Is how do you think noise created by humans can affect animals and their habitats? Okay, so now it's now it's noise pollution and animals. So before watching the video, just write down what you know um, or what you imagine, how you imagine that uh, noise created by 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 us by humans uh, can affect animals, uh, and that can be everything from uh, you know dogs barking to when sirens passed, that, that's all I'll give you. <laughs> Let's see what else you can come up with. Um, and then this this next one, once you've already answered this this first question, um, once once you've typed it out on your on your word processor, uh, then uh, take a take a um, take some notes on this video. Um, and uh, this is this is from an oceanographer named Kate Stafford. Um, and, and it's entitled "How Human Noise Affects Ocean Habitat." So take notes on on things that are in, things that are intriguing, um, everything from golden quotes to to uh, intri intriguing uh, concepts and phenomena, and, and anything else that the oceanographer might mention. The oceanographer Kate Stafford here. So after watching the video. Um, you're gonna you're gonna write based on this. Uh, hey, what did you learn from from this talk from Kate Stafford's talk about human-made noise and its effects? This one in particular is on marine life. So what did you learn? Uh, what intrigued you? Uh, and then after that, since this is a the, a discussion board assignment, uh, remember also choose one classmate's post to reply to. Um, so I, I know you're gonna enjoy it. It's it's such an interesting one. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Uh, one one last thing is the current event four, and that one is going to be due on the twenty second of May. So today, if today's the sixteenth, when what is that? Um, Friday, next Friday then, because next Saturday would be would be on the twenty third. But um, so next Friday, guys, the twenty second here, and that that's it. Uh, and what? Why we do these current events, guys, is because I'm I'm getting you to have opportunities to research things that interest you, topics that interest you. Because now that now that we're coming into this uh, research paper mode, then the point is for you to to do it on a topic that you really care about. And if all along you've been you've been uh, writing on current events that have really intrigued you all along, then those have functioned to spark uh, a sufficient. Uh, train of thought in terms of topics that interest you. So um, it's our last one, guys. It's our last current event. So uh, finish strong. <laughs> uh, okay. I, lastly, I just want to remind you of this cool thing that if you go to if you go to our Canvas and you go to View Calendar here it is View Calendar. Um, if you're a visual person, then then you can you can see what's coming up. Um, and Here's what I personally do. So I, I have a wall calendar here here in my room, 
and uh, on my wall calendar, I write down the upcoming deadlines. So if I was you, I would I would look through the upcoming deadlines and write them down in in the wall calendar, so that when you look at it, you can be visualizing ahead uh, rather than rather than carrying it all in your head because that's a uh, that's unnecessary stress and and pressure. So, do use your wall calendar as your uh, I like to call it mission control. Um, if, if if it's not a wall calendar, then have some sort of agenda. But for me, I like I like the the the, the visual characteristics of the wall calendar. So, uh, that's my that's my that's my tip. <laughs> All right, guys. So, that's what we have this week, and uh, I know you'll enjoy it. And with uh, you know our oceanographer and 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 uh, and uh, any other article that you find on 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 noise pollution and humans, and then what we're going to look at with noise pollution and animals. So, I uh, hope you're intrigued as 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 I am. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I wish you a, an awesome week. <laughs>